Hey guys and welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Laura. Today I am going to be doing quite a fun video, I think. <laughs> you could call it fun. I'm going to show you a few casting outfits. This is kind of stuff that I have kind of picked up over the years, kind of learned. So I have six outfits for you. Does anyone count like this? When you're going to a casting, usually there is like a default. Of course, they want to see your body shape. You know, they want you to wear minimal to like just a little bit of makeup. I've done like lipstick and I've got some eye. Some eye. I've done castings with this before. It's fine. Basically, don't go to your casting in full glam. If it is a specific kind of casting, they will tell you what to bring. Usually specific ones are like yoga based, jobs, formal looking jobs, casual, formal, I get that a lot. And I always kind of struggled, like what does casual, formal mean? You have the classical outfits. I think every time you do like castings, it, it's very different. More or less here are the outfits. Let's go. So with this outfit, I call it a classic uniform because it is head to toe in black. Most models wear it, it does make you look tall, it elongates your body, it slims your body, especially if you're pairing it with a heeled boot. It definitely does make you nice and tall. When I first moved to Japan, this was my classic outfit. I've always wore this every time and it's very nice in the winter. In the summer, not so much. And also recently, I do not wear skinny jeans at all. This is actually, it's been a while since I wore skinny jeans. So it is though an outfit that I would definitely wear in winter. And especially if one that I need to appear tall in photos. This one, I also call it a classic outfit. Same thing with the bottom, but on the top, I am just wearing a cropped little vest over here. And this is also quite nice, very easy to put together. And again, shows your shape, very classic. These outfits, the classic outfits, you can't go wrong. This outfit, I like to call it the edgy outfit. I have black cargo pants on. They kind of like cinch at the ankle, which is why I decided to go with Dr. Martens to kind of make it more like a bit edgy. Of course, you can use the boots that I wore before and I love mesh tops. First of all, you can see your form. Second of all, I think they're so fashionable and I have a bunch of these mesh tops in like different colors. They're just so cool. I think they're definitely like a staple piece of mine. I have, like I said, a lot of these and they're just so easy to throw with like a black pan, a heel and go to the casting. Yes, I also have included a formal kind of look. Sometimes your manager may ask you to turn up in a formal or casual formal kind of wear. And I don't know, this is what I would do. I still, until this day, don't understand what's too casual, what's too formal. So I just go kind of like this mid situation here. A little heel to give that little extra height. Not really much to say about them, but this is the look. I have included a sportswear. I'm going to put a t-shirt on top because, I don't know, around here in Japan you wouldn't just walk out in your sports bra. So I'm just going to put on this Maison Kitsune shirt and when I get to the casting, I would probably take it off. This is just, for example, for those jobs that are like yoga, fitness. Again, your manager would probably tell you, please take some workout outfit, training stuff so that you can change into, so that the client can blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I just paired it with some white Air Force Ones and that's it. This outfit, I call it the cute outfit because it's cute. This is, again, if I just go to a casting and I don't think that there's too much of a strict rule and I can kind of just like wear stuff that show my body but kind of just be a little bit more fun. And again, I just paired it with some sneakers and like this. So this one, yes, it is the loudest one of them all. 
it is the trendiest one if you wanted to say so. I do wear this, I have worn this to, honestly, I just, it's the current style that I'm like liking lately, you know, we're in 2021 as of now, when you're watching this video, I don't know when, but it is all about flares and kind of like Y2K, so this is more for like those kind of trendy jobs where they can see that you have a little bit more of like an understanding about trend, what's going on. No, you do not have to know these kind of things for your job. I just personally like and so yeah that concludes all the outfits to be honest you do not really have to be wearing the heels you can put it in your purse if you want to and also it really depends nowadays i don't really take my heels my like high heels unless they tell me like to bring it it's more definitely necessary if you're doing like runway i don't do runway i'm too short for runway but if you'll need high heels, your manager or agent will let you know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun. It was kind of fun for me as well to kind of like put all these outfits together. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!